textures are a wonderful way to enhance your images, and they can be a lot of fun to play around with because they interact so well with certain photos. However, sometimes when you apply a texture, it doesn't really give you the style that you're looking for, like this image here. The texture is a little flat, the color is not exactly what I'm looking for, and I want to add a little bit more grunginess to the detail. Luckily, using perfect layers and perfect effects, you can edit your textures and your underlying photos separately and take a texture image like this one and create one like this image here. Let me go ahead and jump into perfect layers and I'll show you how this layered workflow functions and I can show you a couple of fun techniques inside perfect effects to enhance a grungy texture. I have my texture and my photo combined here inside perfect layers, which you can see on the right hand side of my screen in my layer stack. On top is the grunge texture and beneath is my original carnival photo. I can turn my texture layer on and off by clicking the eye icon to the left, and I can take a look at that image. Now the first thing that we want to do is combine the texture with the photo. I'm going to go up to the blending drop down menu at the top of my layer stack and we're going to change how the texture is blending with the underlying image. Go ahead and open this up and I can hover my mouse over any of these different options to see which one I think will work best. Now we'll be editing the texture a little bit, so this won't be our final result, but this is a great way to take a look and find a blending mode that you think is going to work best. Overlay and soft light are usually my two favorite options when working with textures. Now once we've selected the blending mode, then we need to go through and edit the texture itself. In the layer stack, you'll want to make sure that the texture layer has been selected. Just to make sure, you can click on it one more time and you'll see that there is a lighter gray surrounding the grunge layer and a darker gray surrounding the carnival layer. Once that texture layer has been chosen, I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner of my screen and click on effects. Now because these are on separate layers, we're actually just editing the texture layer and the original photo will stay the same. You'll see in my filter stack here inside perfect effects on the right hand side of my screen, the little preview that you're seeing is actually just of the texture image, the original texture photo before we blended it with the photo beneath it. This means that we're just editing that texture. Now on the left hand side of the screen in the filters library, there are lots of different ways that we can go through and we can adjust this texture. And one of my favorite filters to apply is something called bleach bypass. It's a way for you to adjust color, tone, and detail all in one fell swoop. So I'll go ahead and open that option and scroll through until I find one that I'd like to apply. These filter preset thumbnails are of just the texture. However, they're still really good indications of how it's going to interact with your photo when you apply it. I really like the high cue cool option. It applies some contrast and a nice cool filter to the image, and that's definitely where I want to go. So I'll click on that option, and you'll see an instant change. On the right hand side of the screen in the filter options pane, there are a lot of different ways that you can adjust the bleach bypass. There's the amount slider, which I'm going to leave at 100. There's brightness. Now this texture has gotten a little too dark and is causing the image itself to look too dark. So I'm going to take the brightness slider and move that over to the right. You can apply contrast, which I'm going to go ahead and leave alone for now. I like the contrast on the image. Then there's a detail slider, which I definitely want to push over to the right to add some of that grit and grunge to all of the dirtiness in that original texture. There's a saturation slider, which is really going to be useful here because I want to pull out as much of that pinkish orangish rust color from the original texture as I can. So I'll take that saturation slider and move it over to the left and that color starts to disappear. The last option down here is tint. We can go through and we can select a new color for the tint or we can just adjust the amount. I'm going to take the amount slider and move that to the left a few points so it's not quite as strong. Another one of my favorite things to apply to a texture is a vignette. 
It's a great way for the vignette to be applied in a really subtle way to your image as it's combining with the texture itself and blending with the original image. So I'm going to go up to my filter stack and click the plus button. That'll add a new empty layer. And then on the left hand side of my screen, I'm going to scroll down until I get to the vignette category. Now, one of my favorite vignettes is called Big Softy, and it's right up at the top. So I'll click on that to apply it. You'll see it's blending very nicely with my end photo here. There isn't much I want to do to this vignette other than just adjust the brightness. In the filter options pane on the right hand side, I'm just going to take my brightness slider and move it over to the right so it's not quite as dark. Now once I'm done here in Perfect Effects, I'll go down to the bottom and click the Apply button. It'll apply these different effects to my texture and then it's going to bring us back into Perfect Layers. When we end up back in Perfect Layers, what's really wonderful here is you'll see in my Layers stack on the right hand side, there's a new Perfect Effects layer. This is my new Edited Texture. Underneath, on a hidden layer, is my original texture. Just in case I made adjustments to the texture and I don't necessarily like it or I want to start again from scratch, I can always go back to that original texture layer and start again. I also have the ability to use this new Perfect Effects edited texture and adjust it in the Blending drop down menu using the layer opacity or by applying masks. Maybe the texture is a little too strong, I can just take my layer opacity slider and move that over to the left. As you can see, there are tons of different ways that textures can be combined with photos and you can create some really fun and really stunning results just by playing around with a layered workflow here inside Perfect Layers.